Good morning, this is Pastor Brian. Thank you for joining me a chapter a day as we work our way through 2 Corinthians today, chapter 5. Uh, I will be reading from the Common English Bible, so let's hop right in. We know that if the tent that we live in on earth is torn down, we have a building from God. It's a house that isn't handmade, which is eternal and located in heaven. We groan while we live in this residence. We really want to dress ourselves with our building from heaven, since we assume that when we take off this tent, we won't find out that we are naked. Yes, while we are in this tent, we groan, because we are weighed down. We want to be dressed, not undressed, so that what is dying can be swallowed up by life. Now, the one who prepared us for this very thing is God, and God gave us the Spirit as a down payment for our home. So we are always confident, because we know that while we are living in the body, we are away from our home with the Lord. We live by faith and not by sight. We are confident, and we would prefer to leave the body and be at home with the Lord. So our goal is to be acceptable to him. Whether we are at home or away from God, we all must appear before Christ in court so that each person can be paid back for the things that were done while in the body, whether they were good or bad. So we try to persuade people, since we know what it means to fear the Lord. We are well known by God, and I hope that in your heart we are well known by you as well. We aren't trying to commend ourselves to you again. Instead, we are giving you an opportunity to be proud of us so that you could answer those who take pride in superficial appearances and not what is in the heart. If we are crazy, it's for God's sake. If we are rational, it's for your sake. The love of Christ controls us because we have concluded this. One died for the sake of all, therefore all died. He died for the sake of all, so that those who are alive should live not for themselves, but for the one who died for them and was raised. So then, from this point on, we won't recognize people as by human standards, even though we used to know Christ by human standards. That isn't how we know him now. So then, if anyone is in Christ, that person is part of the new creation. The old things have gone away, and look, new things have arrived. All of these things are from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and who gave us the ministry of reconciliation. In other words, God was reconciling the world to himself through Christ by not counting people's sins against them. He has trusted us with this message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors who represent Christ. God is negotiating with you through us. We beg you as Christ's representatives. Be reconciled to God. God caused the one who didn't know sin to be sin for our sake, so that through him we could become the righteousness of God. It's the end of chapter 5. Uh, what did you think? What did you hear? Uh, what stuck out to you? Paul seems to continue to uh, defend himself a bit. Uh, himself and the other the missionaries like Paul and Sylvanus who haven't come as well uh, but that heaven is the eternal place that everyone wants to be and so we need to do our best to live our best while we are here on earth so that we are uh, showing God the appreciation that we have um, and I love that uh, it talks that we walk by faith um, and the fact that uh, it talks about um, that all things new are from God, uh, who reconciled himself through Christ, and that, uh, that even though Christ was a human, we see him as, um, as a part of God now, and so that we need to live in that godly manner. Um, and that the one, the, the very famous part, the last verse, God who caused the one who didn't know sin to be sin for our sake. 
so that we would become the righteousness of God, the righteousness, the ones who are made right, the ones who are, are, um, are good in God's sight, that we are, are, are justified. So the righteousness is the, the, the justified side on the left side of a, a pad of paper, that, that line that goes vertically instead of horizontally. We are justified. We are put right with God, through God, because of Christ, because he took on the sin that wasn't even ever a part of his life before or after he was here on earth. And what a blessing and gift that is. So what did you hear? Uh, what stuck out to you? Uh, share it with a friend. Write it down. Share it with us. We love hearing from you. Um, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And God bless each and every one of you.